Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Ragnarok here with part six of my Total War Attila Medieval Medieval Kingdoms 1212 mod on legendary difficulty as England, of course. All right, so we're gonna get the uh, rebellion here next turn. I'm gonna build this field, and I want to build. Uh, it's not giving us the option for the uh the city square so I, I guess we will build the water mill here i yeah i i think that actually be pretty good um could build up a little bit more there but i think uh we've got some spare slots over here yeah so here um let's go with the vineyard and then we're gonna want the the catholic chapel as well but as you can see public order um after having dismantled those those jewish buildings uh, public order is actually starting to come under control, shockingly enough. Um, and then Christianity, I believe, is... Uh, where's our religion? Uh, back on the rise. So, without actually even building these religious buildings, that is very interesting. may not have to actually build religious buildings everywhere they they're yeah we're, we're about to get hit with some uh, some upkeep penalties for those bad boys but in any case um, I think we're finally getting this stuff sorted out uh, you've got to stay here for a little bit longer England surprisingly not really under control there like otherwise I'll save this money for next turn and I, I think that's good um, uh, take a look if there's anybody else that can be promoted um, yeah he's the he's the important one that we want I'm a marshal or actually sorry this guy Henry This really oh okay he is a marshal. I was gonna put him in in there. I'm like oh why don't we have him in there? But we do already. And everybody is married. Just double check that quick. God, coming a bit of a headache to manage all the, these children. Our uh, hmm. Yeah, once we start getting up to this area, that, that could be a problem. But uh, I guess that's another good reason why we should actually build those these chapels. Uh, it's going to help quite a bit with with public order. I am certain that with your mm, mm, wisdom, mm, 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 you can see the that is tempting. From your and but uh, we're not going to do it. Just keep it as defensive alliances from now. That reduces the amount of wars we get dragged into. I mean, we're still going to get dragged. Oh, son of a bitch. Somebody sorted out the rebellion for us. My goodness. I guess it pays to have defensive allies, but I I wanted to sort that out myself and, and get the uh, the experience as well as uh, the uh, the loot that we would have gotten for, for defeating them. I, I don't think it's a lot of loot in this. We would be but still, um, we're in a position right now where every, every little bit of cash helps out. But I think we head back back north and then secure that uh, territory 
against the uh, the kingdom of Tour Louise. Uh, that should uh, bolster our relationship with France. It's going to hurt our relationship with uh, the kingdom down here in, in Spain, but I, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Um... I'm gonna actually give up a little bit of control here. The measure of mastery of politics, your power over the elite. It fluctuates as your family members engage in other political intrigues as other campaign events unfold. Current control is 38%. Dominion. Your measure of influence over your faction. Actually, we'll block the promotion. Never mind. Uh, so we could get another rebellion here soon. But what we can do... How much are we making here? 245. I think, uh, I think we just turn the taxes off here in this province. What the fuck? Oh, taxes, taxes does not affect public order. So I guess there's never really going to be a situation... <laughs> where we shouldn't tax the provinces. Uh, this is going to help the public order plus three. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, the, the other thing is, because they cleared out the rebellion, we don't get the uh, the military lockdown either. Build the priory there. All right, this is what I'm kind of thinking. At your command. We is we'll battle. leave Richard here. He this army should be able to handle a rebellion, Get and the main the army riches. should be able to take on the kingdom of Toulouse. We don't, don't really want to travel by water. Probably best that we uh, stay on on the, on the continent here. But let's uh, swing around and see what we got up there. Now this got built up pretty quick too. And we'll probably next research the technology that starts unlocking some of these mills. E should be able to sort out the the rebellion plus and we could leave him in the uh in the settlement to actually prevent the rebellion but um yeah i don't see the sense in doing that at least this way he gets some experience if uh, we don't have any garrison two more turns sell garrison it's three more turns before the rebellion so um just in case, it would be nice to have the and the actual garrison to uh, to help out. On the move. Well, he doesn't have to sit there anymore. That's good. How are we looking for public order up here? Oh my goodness, we are all in the green here. Uh, I'm gonna leave him for one more turn. We should be able to disband him after after this turn And our income hasn't been affected too considerably. But I mean, we're not making much money uh, We definitely want to imp get that improved All right, good stuff. I, I don't think there's anything else here for us to do, really. John is governor. What do we want to work towards? Tax rate and construction cost. Not bad. A 
I respectfully request that we cooperate fully in a... Well, it looks like our Christian allies are um, moving against um, some of the forces down in Africa there. I'd prefer that we we take all of that territory. But I mean if they're going to do it, I guess whatever. Birth, nice. Placid. Oh. that get his zeal balance back out but I don't think uh, I don't think we need him anymore here nope now we're good the public order has been balanced finally and income wise it's not a lot but it's uh, at least an improvement and the important thing is that public order is Bloody well under control. Um, yeah, the most important part. I actually, make the attack. I, I don't know if they expanded the campaign movement in this, if the, the armies have more campaign movement, but it certainly seems that way. Good. Uh, read this. I don't think I'm going to do that. Might raid it next turn just to get the rebellion. Want, um, want this to be finished being built first. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. Before we actually do any attack. Uh, so... Hmm... Yeah, see, six building slots. That is pretty sweet. Um, population. About 20,000, 21,000, 22,000. Growth is pretty good. Where's the garrison? Some crossbows. What's the range on the crossbows? Does it tell us? 145. 145. And they do have two siege equipments available. What's the range on these guys? 150. So we've got slightly better range than the crossbows. We can bring these troops in too. Ah, oh, fuck, they're suffering attrition. Actually, you know what? Probably better to keep them here, the garrison, in case this army comes over here. Even though this garrison should uh, should have no trouble 
with this army. I think they have a second army. Potentially in here, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, better safe to keep the, the settlement protected. You guys are losing integrity. Uh, use up their movement. I was going to say put them out and put them in, in camp. But that's okay. Anyway, um, all right, let's uh, we'll try one more time with the crown of Aragon. See if we can. Whoa, deteriorating. Why is it deteriorating so much? How is it going from two thirty to one twenty-seven? All right, well, whatever. Be most welcome. Your words will find an attentive audience. All right, well, I'll try that one last time. In our good name, be welcome and speak in friendship. I will give a receptive ear to your words. Uh, that bumps us down to <laughs> unreliable. Um, I should have maybe cancelled our treaties there with them. I forgot that we had actual treaties with them. God, he's 42 already. Broken treaties with County of Two Louise. Great power war with County of Two Louise. So, uh, it's going to hurt our relations with them a bit, but I think we will survive it. Our, our, our alliance will survive it. Hmm. There is the second army. Let me just take a look at that. Laying siege to the settlement. Right out there. All right. Two, Two small armies shouldn't be any any problem for us to deal with. Yeah, it definitely appears that the uh, the AI doesn't have the same kind of advantages on the campaign map as in vanilla, as um, the, their armies haven't been huge. thus far and though I guess these guys only have two settlements but still usually you see it see someone with two settlements and they've got like three full stacks this is definitely a nice change of pace evens evens the odds a little bit but the the economy definitely seems a little bit hard to manage or at least it has been for me thus far slowly slowly getting a grip on it Hmm, lots and lots of towers. Lots of towers. Three, four, five. Four. Uh, where are we going to it? And we've got towers back here also. I think we'll attack this area. I mean, more than likely, we won't even have to go into the settlement to, to actually deal, deal with them. We should be able to take care of everything with our ranged units. Um, I have to remember too, I don't have my, uh, I don't have the cavalry here for this fight either. Ooh, and we want to be careful of these. So if we attack this corner here, we might not even actually have to deal with the uh, with their artillery. And we might be able to hit it. Ready, I don't know if it'll be able to hit us from the angle there. Let's just stay back here for now. We can move forward. Fire well. 
I'll leave them on fire well for now. Alright, so they got an artillery piece there. Show them how and foolish they are. How misguided. And how no oh maybe not. No, they don't. Got the artillery piece there and over there. Okay, good. Attacking this corner should be perfectly fine then. Port to there. Take out that tower and then start working on if we can sort out these crossbows. And attacking the corner here, we might actually be able to sort out the crossbows without too many losses. I mean, technically we outrange them, but uh, it's going to be hard for us to hit them without, without taking some casualties. Just wondering if we want to take the casualties on the bows, or if we want to take the casualties on our uh, our knights, our dismounted knights. Green knight here, sort of. I just hope this doesn't uh, end up, we don't end up breaking our alliance. With the, uh, the Kingdom of Aragon. Try and shoot there. Pull it down. Nice aim there. There we go, gotcha. The enemy tower is no more than wreckage now. Alright, let's see if we can damage this wall. This, uh, this thing here. We should be able to get a lot of work done on this corner here. Damn it, man. I guess. Aim. Give me a breach. Blokes up and see, get some damage done. Artillery up a little bit further, see if they get a little bit of a better shot in. Wondering if we can get some shots on these crossbows here while they're positioned, while they're facing that way. Ah, shit. Taking fire.
can actually shoot at. Oh shit, is that the tower that's shooting us? Alright, just back up there, boys. Bring the artillery up and see if we can we can take out these towers because I think that's what was doing the damage to us there. Cool. You guys, shoot at them. Shoot at the crossbows. Now the siege is already not going as well as the previous one. your ammunition. Let's move up a bit. We might take out those towers. The thing I hate about it tell us these obstacles in the damn uh, I might as well shoot them let's shoot them oh, we haven't suffered huge casualties a couple casualties here and there nothing too extreme some damage done on them Plenty of crossbows. All right, you guys, take out that tower. I, I don't understand the line of sight. We can see them, we don't see them, like... Whittling them down a bit. So we're getting some damage on the second tower there too. First, let's take out this tower and then try and create another breach here. Yeah, the cavalry would have been nice to have here. If we do have to come in here, it would have been nice to charge at these crossbows. It seems like they're holding them back a bit. But we're probably going to have enough ammunition on our uh, on our archers to sort this out anyway. But just in case. Crossbow's unit here that we can't see. Let's move over there. Will you be able to see them? And they're actually shooting at us a bit. There go that tower.
really frustrating. I don't understand why they appear and disappear like that. In the meantime, we might as well shoot them. Too bad, but too bad we don't have any flying units here to be able to get full vision on these guys. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll make do. Probably not a great spot to shoot at them. Guys, doing this tower, 90%. Oh, those towers are destroyed. Good, good, good. And we got a little bit more ammunition. We'll be over to here, away from these uh, obstacles. Take out that tower as well. I, you two should be able to hit them without too much trouble. Alright, so far so good. Taking a, a few casualties, but nothing, nothing too, too bad. And they, they've lost a handful of units already. Holding their crossbows back for whatever reason. I wonder if we're gonna have range to hit this barricade. Seems like an odd spot for it. We might take out the tower there too. Another unit broken. Still got plenty of ammunition, so not too worried about any of this just yet. Just wondering if we they don't seem to want to protect the breach here, so I'm just wondering if we need to create another breach. Get that tower down. Almost have range on them. Actually, let's bring one of you over here. And we'll take out this artillery, this catapult, and then that way we can use this whole area with the archers and then hopefully pick off their crossbows. This tower should be a non-factor, so long as we don't come up to there. Get that artillery crew taken out. And then we can work on the crossbows.
having a hell of a time hitting these guys, though. Seems like these crossbows are just out of range there, where they are. We'll wait till we get this unit sorted out first, and then we'll swing around this side and get a little bit of a better angle. Two of them left. Come on, keep, keep shooting. I don't think there's a lot left other than these crossbows. Probably just these two crossbows and the general. And then, of course... This artillery unit over here. <laughs> um. I'm just wondering if that's going to break or we'll have to actually go over there. Get rid of them. Fuck. I'm wrong with you guys. We're in position over here. Just one of them left. Like, should I leave? Should I stay? I don't know what to do. Huh. Come on. This one volley should do it. What's wrong with you guys? Shoot him. I don't know what's wrong with them. They won't. Fire at him there. Come on. Surely you can Oh, he's trying to is he trying to hide? Come on, surely you guys can hit him. I don't understand why they had no trouble firing previously, and now Now they're having such a hard time. Bring you guys over. We could bring our, our foot knights in. I'm a little bit reluctant to do that just yet. Damn. This is like the uh, the artillery bug in freaking uh, Warhammer 2. You've got line of sight on someone, and then they just don't want to um, want to move forward, or they want to move forward. They don't want to shoot the target. Surely one of you guys can shoot him from there. Damn. Damn. Fuck's sake. Oh shit, I guess I clicked on these guys. Move up a little bit, boys. We'll take out that tower over there. area for now. Just make sure these two don't get flanked. And where in the fuck are you going? Back up. Damn it. Definitely want to get rid of these crossbows though. I want to just charge in here. Probably do quite a bit of damage. I guess we could actually charge them with the, with the knights. Well, we're, we're definitely winning this skirmish. They're getting a few kills here and there, but yeah, like I said, we're winning the skirmish, so it's not a big deal. Fuck, no, don't move. Just fucking shoot these guys. Enemy units have returned to the battle. And... 
Let's take out that tower down there. them. Have you finished them off? You guys can bomb them too. damage but now we're almost under ammunition he's starting to waver it's all right here we go got it Well, that wasn't super difficult, just a little bit time consuming. Thirty seven losses, I think that's acceptable. I think with these English crossbows, there's really not going to be a whole lot of fortresses that can stand up to us. Uh, the combination of those crossbows and those, uh, those artillery pieces. It's going to occupy time as well. Alright, let's uh, just demolish everything and we'll start from scratch. Uh, actually, the physician can stay. Yep. Everything else we'll demolish. Oh, they've got a... Uh, Got a workshop here. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we're still gonna get more assault ammunition. Maybe we should keep that. No, we're gonna get rid of it. Fuck it. Only for, yeah, it's only more ammunition for recruits. I guess we could upgrade them now. Can't afford it. Uh, maybe we'll just leave it for a turn, and, and I guess we could upgrade these guys. 
five percent ammunition. How much ammunition do we have? Thirty. Five percent of thirty is not going to be huge. Fuck it. Just get rid of it. All right. So, waiting for the rebellion there. Hopefully, we can end this war quickly to be able to take to Louise next turn. We hunger for battle. He's leveled up. Alright. That campaign movement. Ready for battle. Just, uh, how much of a penalty did we take? There, from Aragon. Military actions is only minus two. So I, I think our treaty will um will survive this. Um this stuff will go away over time as well. Uh the thing that we gotta worry about at the moment right now is our uh reliability. Welcome, worthy guest. I trust you bring <laughs> Anybody else new that we can trade with? Genoa. You will find me a willing and attentive audience for your speech. All right, good. How does that make the uh yeah, it's a bit of a strange empire that we've built here, but... Coming together. I am just uh, extremely happy, though, that we've been able to actually sort out the public order situation. Minus 16, minus 4... Yeah, ha having the oh shit. Um, which guy is this? This guy's a governor. None of that's helpful for you. Um, all right. So you've got these. Go with tax rate. Oh, son of a bitch, we can, uh, we've got a fifth governor now. Is there anybody down here? Simon, what are your... Morris? Penguin? Foreign interests? Not terrible. Alright, um, where do we want to put you? I guess maybe we'll put him in Valencia. And then... Alright, now the growth does... Public order minus five. Good. Actually, if we... Um, yeah, if we go public order... Should be able to prevent the rebellion there. So, I'm just gonna actually. No, we don't need to. I was gonna say we'll leave him here for one turn, but I don't think that's necessary. And arrange this as army have. Alright, so let's move you to there. Make haste, men. Actually, you can move a little bit further. Stay out of his range. Waiting for orders. Advance. All right, perfect. Yeah, so that way he can participate in the battle at T T Luis, and then uh, public order should sort out because we're getting this built, and then we've got the edict coming in as well. So it'll be good there for public order now. Down here, public order is going to be an issue, but should be able to get it under control fairly quickly. Alright. 
Looks good. And the one advantage of this system of having just one single settlement for um, uh, for each province is that um, you don't have to worry about consolidating full provinces. Um, so, so I mean, I guess that's one advantage to it. But at the same time, it would be nice if there was um, a couple more building slots. I think when CA switched over to the system from from like Medieval 2 and Shogun and those. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, he had enough movement to get us. Uh, he shouldn't be able to follow up here, he shouldn't be able to catch us. We could stand and fight this, we might have a chance to win, but... Just more... makes more sense that we uh, back away there. I didn't think he'd have enough movement, but I, I guess I was just a little bit too close. Yeah, what was I saying? So, yeah, I, I think the idea that CA had when they switched from, from the classical... Uh, uh, building chain uh, design to the the more modern one that you see in like Rome 2, Attila, um, and, and the Warhammer games is that um, each province sort of was seen almost as as you're just basically dividing the province into into more settlements. So when you have a province with with um, with three settlements, so you've got the main one with six, and then two smaller settlements with with each with four build slots. I, I think they they looked at that as fourteen build slots. Um, I mean, technically you don't have that many because you know you've got your main main building chain. But I I think that they were looking at it as as still you have like a lot of build slots to work with. But in practice, I, I don't think it um, quite worked exactly like that. But anyway, not sure if all that made a lot of sense. But all right, all right. So uh, demolish that. That's gonna stay. That's gonna go. This is gonna go. I'm gonna change this to fishing docks. I think uh, it'd just be better to go with the fishing docks rather than the. Um, Mm, we're still at minus one, unfortunately. But we can improve that. Um, income buys we're, we're we're getting there for income. Oh, whoops. The level, religious differences, religion, immigrants, immigrants minus one. Eh? All right, I think we um, think we go with this. Three turns. What's it out right now? Public order plus two. Ah, damn it! Doesn't uh, not gonna make any difference there. Hmm. I think we save this, uh, save the cash that we have on us right now. Ah, bloody hell. Uh, I'm just a little bit concerned that we're gonna have to, uh, run around dealing with these armies. We have a garrison. Oh. Have a garrison, but very diminished garrison. Thing is, if we take this settlement, maybe open to attack um, from this army. We may, we may have to retake it. Still, I'm gonna take it. But let's see. Let's move you. 
move you to here. We can, we'll have him participate in the battle. And then he can garrison Mont Montpellier. Bordeaux uh, is not under any threat of being taken. Mm, I don't think we should auto resolve this because we'll take we'll, we'll take more damage and we, we want to be careful how many casualties we have while we're still at war and yeah, the war weariness doesn't seem to be affecting us too much Oh man, I, I can't tell you guys how happy I am that we, we've got the uh, public order under control in these provinces. Just uh, makes me so, so happy. Um, I can wait on upgrading them though. I'm gonna have to wait because we need to invest uh, down here in Valencia. Actually, let's take a look at our governor in Valencia. Maybe. Maybe there's an item that we can give him that'll help with the public order. Research rates. Book integrity. Unless we give him something that someone else has. Anyway. Uh, he might level up in time too to fix this up. The other thing just upgrade the uh, the priory so that doesn't give us more public order hmm leave it for the time being I suppose we could just come back down here maybe we'll yeah since we got cut off by the army here, I think we'll actually move him back and just get the public order sorted here. We hunger for battle. Maybe save up to get this to level two, and then hope. Not sure what this guy will do. He could come down here and attack us. But we do have the garrison here now, and it's at full strength. Plus, got the army, so. No chance that they can win there. To battle. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, son of a bitch. The French are actually helping us here. Oh, this should be interesting. God, France has a pretty large army. Anyway, we're, we're going to start things off with this next time. We're, we're at the hour mark. So we'll fight this. Uh, we could auto-resolve it, but I don't think there's any need really for that. Um, try and get some experience on our archers. I don't know why the, the balance of power is not further in our favor, especially considering that the, uh, the Frenchies are here. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Part 7 is next. Have a great day. Ragnarok signing out.